Uh, I got a good fire going. I got lots of firewood that I gather up. I really, really want to eat. able to actually sit comfortably. friends day two here at my little crick river thingy woke up got a fire going now I really need some breakfast I am absolutely starved so Gee, now where could I find some water to make my just add water eggs? Oh. So I'm gonna get some water. Uh, I'm gonna get a little more firewood because this needs a little bit of uh, a little bit more wood to cook on. Slept pretty good. Um, the only problem is it kind of dipped down at the back of my knees the ground kind of dipped down so I had to kind of lay on my side otherwise it was a little bit painful after a while but yeah I'll get back to you when breakfast is, is cooking it's uh, getting a little bit um, later in the morning and I really really want to eat uh, I got a good fire going I got lots of firewood that I gather up. I actually pulled that from over here where the stream was all stopped up. I got a lot of that wood. But here's my problem. I don't want to sit down and cook. I hate doing that. I don't want to have to sit there like and squat. You know what I mean? I want to be able to actually sit comfortably at least on a rock or a stump or something. Well, I don't have a stump or a rock that I can actually move. So, my plan was to build this little bushcraft stool. I have some tripod legs here, and then I have, I'm gonna need some rungs, and I have some rungs there. All I need to make this stool now is cordage and I I kept on listening to Dave Canterbury oh you got to try bank line you got to try 36 bank line it's great stuff it's you know cheaper than paracord here's a roll of 36 bank line let me show you my problem this came tight like this over top of here and then you got this one little end, but it's buried behind multiple ends here, and I don't see another end. So I don't know where you're supposed to start unraveling this from. And it's really like, like it's not soft and flexible, you know what I mean? It's, uh, it's really kind of wiry. I just have no idea how I'm supposed to go about getting an end out of this. Once I do that though, I, I really want my stool. I just... Just... 
I don't see a way to get this out because it's so buried. This little end here. Man, I suck at this bushcraft stuff, don't I? Ugh. So I don't know, I was thinking maybe just cut it with a knife like here. And then I can just kind of start yanking on it. I hate to cut a, a roll like, you know, somewhere in the middle though. It's not really ideal. Because then you'll need like a 10 foot piece, you'll unravel three feet. And you find out, oh yeah, that's right, that's where I cut it. Where is the other end? This is redonkulous. Maybe if I just pull that tab really, or that tag end really hard. No, just as I thought, that'll probably tighten it up even more. Time to get serious. Like, I don't think they would make the bottom strand the one that's the only one sticking up invisible, right? This has to be the top strand. Oh, here we go. Starting to wiggle out of there. And then it's hanged through three more. Are you kidding me? All right, I think this is it though. I think this is the... Uh, Yep. There we go. Oh, snap. All right. Now, if I could get this back on there. Because that's not supposed to have been unraveled. Yeah, that is way too tight. I don't know if I'm getting that back on there. Maybe. Maybe just enough. Yeah, there we go. Holy snakes, I did it. All right, so now let's see if I can remember how to make the stool. And hopefully this bank line works. It's pretty like non-flexible. But I need uh, a couple of loops. Actually, first I need to lash these sticks together. need to find 
three even size. I can trim them up afterwards, I guess. So I figure that'll be the top. Let's put the bait, the bigger end down at the bottom. That way I'm trimming off the smaller. So there, I'll trim these off here. And then we'll have our three seat pieces. Let me trim these up and then I'll get lashing. Hold on. Let's see if I can do this properly. Okay, so I want to take my line, I want to go over, oh no, I want to start it with a, uh, like a slip knot. into a tripod oh no this is never gonna work I gotta redo it I gotta redo it the whole point is uh, you're supposed to have enough of a cross at the top to where you can weave some sticks to sit on that's why I made them so long I forgot and I lashed them way up far too far to the top that's all right I can undo it and I'll just start over damn it Let's try this again. The 
Okay, now we need three loops. And we're gonna put one loop on each of these top ones to stop it from spreading open. And also that's gonna give us a platform to sit on. Not really sure what keeps these from sliding down. Um, I'm kind of worried I might need to notch out the top of those pieces to stop the, the line from sliding down when I sit on it. I don't know what would hold it there otherwise. So I'm going to have to carve a couple like L notches into there. And my phone battery is at 5%, so I'll get back to you. Before I get started on finishing my stool here, um, I'm gonna stoke up the fire and then I'll quickly carve the notches in there. I figured the quickest way to do the notches will be with a combination of hatchet and uh, knife maybe. Probably something you wanted to do before you lashed them. So in addition to not batoning right off the bat and, you know, trying to do this while they were lashed, I, I kept having to check and see once I opened them up, I needed to make sure those seven notches were facing outwards. And so all that combined was making this take forever. It was getting really frustrating. Keep in mind, though, I mean, I only ever saw somebody do this in a YouTube video once, so I was pretty much just winging it. But if this is something you ever do want to try, um, get your sticks to length, um, point the ends, and carve your notches before you lash them. Save yourself a lot of time and frustration. I really should have carved these notches first. This is making it really, really difficult. I should have pointed the end to 
done that from the beginning. Now time for loop. I'm going to tie a, a necklace knot in each of these to form the loop. That fire sounds like it's ready for some breakfast. Alright, so now I got a nice tight, tight loop. Um, the idea is... You twist it a few times. I gotta do that three times. Which means I'm gonna be very hungry when it comes time to eat my breakfast. I'm gonna eat so much breakfast I wanna have to tighten up my belt when I'm or unloosen my belt when I'm done. So much breakfast I wanna eat. This might be a little too long. I'm going to get my loop straight and then I'll show you what I'm doing here. Alright, let me show you what I'm going for here. I moved up a, a couple of the notches and I shortened up one more loop. And now you can see kind of what I was going for that nice triangle and what I'm going to do now I have these uh, small sticks which I'm going to then weave 
into here. You see what I mean? That'll give me a, a nice platform to sit on and it'll also tighten up them uh, cords a little bit. Tighten the whole thing up, hopefully. So let's see how we do. worried that would happen the whole time they slide down. I need to point the legs so they don't slide out. But I think if I uh, point the legs a little bit, I got myself a nice little primitive stool to sit in and uh, cook and then eat. Yeah, I'm going to point these legs a little bit and then um, I'm going to make them my breakfast. Back, I'll get back with you guys after I get water and I'm ready to make my breakfast.